Hi there, it's Emerson at Tyrium Games. Uh, I've just got a tiny little update for you and a quick tutorial on how to make moving stuff. Foliage. Just because I've just learned how to do it myself. <laughs> so what I've done, I've got uh, alien grass. It's a, it's a purple up through to a blue. With, uh, when, it's, when it's a little darker, you can see the variation. You get some, uh, some greens, so it's a little bit more grassy. So you get a little color variation and moving the wind. And the other one is this creepy looking thing. It's like a little alien tube coming up out of the ground that uh, again moves just at the tip. So they'll be used uh, to make the place feel a little more realistic. Just around rocks and stuff. Oh, uh, the way I've done it is uh, probably a little heavier than normal grass. I've used um, 12 vertices and uh, 4 triangles. So normally people make a plane and then put a, a, a grass texture on there. So this is how I did it. Basically my grass is, as you can see on the left here, four triangles, 12 vertices, and it's a hollow, it's a plane that I've, I've moved up through the middle. Um, people often use a plane and then bend them in several places for a similar effect. Uh, hopefully that's primitive enough, and also my light map resolution is only, only four. The texture itself is under a kilobyte. And this is how I've made it. Um, I exported this out of Blender. That's the uh, that's the UV. I've grabbed the, the three point gradient and saved it as a PNG. And as you can see over here, probably not, but it's tiny. But it's 920 bytes. It's not even one kilobyte texture. So it's 256 by 256, not even a kilobyte. And that's calculating that whole gradient. So um, I'm hoping that is um, light enough. And here's what the material looks like. So, uh, I mean, you can make gradients within the material editor just by uh, texture, was it texture coordinates? Uh, and then you can mask out certain, um, certain parts and then make it into black and white, etc, etc. But um, that's a bit complicated for me and with the uh, gradients that I needed to be a little more specific example having not just straight from one to the other and there's ways to do it with clamps and all that kind of stuff uh, but I'm no expert at making materials so I just stick to I'm thinking if it's less than a kilobyte it's fine so my texture looks like this it's less than a kilobyte that's the base color from top to bottom then I've got this node called simple grass wind which is very brilliant um, it moves everything based on these settings so uh, you've got the wind intensity here which is I've got it on 4 so it's a big distance but the wind weight and wind speed is only 0.1 so that's what gives it that sort of gentle sway only and then I multiplied it through this texture which is a gradient but it's not just black to white it's a lot of white and a lot of black so the gradient so it means it doesn't move at all at the bottom and it moves a lot at the top um, and that that goes to the world position offset. It's that simple. And that's all that's involved in the material to get the thing to move. So if you want to, you know, want, want to make it move around a lot more, you can just edit these, uh, the uh, these ones. Let's say we'll put it at that up to one, and apply that. My grass should go bat crazy. Okay, you see that loading? Go full screen. Now watch my grass lose its mind. Woo! Crazy grass. So yeah, it's very simple. Uh, so I've done it quite a lot of a lot of tweaking to get that uh, exactly how I want. So I'll put that back. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. It's very simple. So you make a, a plane, or or like I have a really simple shape, and then um, and then follow those instructions. Oh, uh, and luckily, lucky last, the actual all you do is you grab to make to draw the thing you grab the mesh drop it in to this the foliage editor and it looks complex but basically these settings are really simple and obvious uh, once you get a look at it I won't explain go through and explain them but you just uh, select the one you want to paint you grab your brush size uh, let's make it a bit smaller and then just draw it just like that and there you have moving grass wherever you like so to do planes and planes of this one would be a bad idea. I think uh, it would be worth making an even simpler version. 
for large areas but I don't intend to have the whole place covered in grass uh, I think a, just a flat surface is, is good maybe uh, some uh, sort of dust or particle effect will cover that kind of flatness a little bit but that's it just draw the thing experiment with uh, different uh, different settings until it looks right and uh, and then you have uh, foliage you can do the same for trees and so on all right well I hope you enjoyed and uh, again shout out oh yeah I didn't mention again <laughs> shout out to Jebediah Johnson who has on, on Reddit has asked if anyone's looking for a bit of help. I've just spoken to him on Skype and he's keen to make some bits and pieces and help out. Top bloke, uh, added him to our little Trello board. That's all you're going to see of that, sneaky. And uh, yeah, thanks Jebediah Johnson. Give, go, get, go to Reddit and give him an upvote on me. <laughs> thanks for watching. Keep, I'll keep you posted.